On the western edge of eastern Washington lies a canyon that people float down. Today, I'm floating the Yakima River. Welcome back. This is one of the most popular destinations for river floating in Washington state. During the summer months, it is guaranteed that the campsites at the end of this float will fill up during the weekends. Big Pine Campground has become incredibly popular for people finishing their float. Discovery passes will not work here and you'll still need to pay a $15 fee for camping out. This canyon river is south of Ellensburg, Washington. On the north end of the canyon, there is a boat launch you can set your float into the river. There's a $5 fee at the boat launch per float. Starting here will take about three to four hours to float back to Big Pine Campground. Yep. If I lasso over to you guys, then you got the yours! <laughs> Crap, I got action. Kick. I should kick this out. Let's see what happens. The current should kick us right back out. See, look, we're gonna go right out. Is that them waiting for us right there? Is that Grandpa waiting? Maybe. <laughs> Are you waiting? Why am I being pushed around by other folks? I feel like I'm holding pressure too. Yeah, it's pushed down. Look like they're all so much for these guys. Yeah, and I'm ah. holding my feet. I thought I would check out and see what things were looking like underwater. Not much to see. The blue peacock was the first float that we launched. We were making our efforts to catch up with it. Didn't take long for it to get stuck in the sticks. We ended up passing our first float. Adam decided to make his own effort to get it regrouped. All it took was one second and the rope tying us all together had gotten snagged. Hey, hey, you, untie me. How? Right here. Where? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, there. <laughs> you got to have to shove the damn GoPro. <laughs> all right, give me a second. Pop up. Uh, 
That's one of them. No, no it's the Pac-Man clip. It's the uh, as Pac-Man. No, Pac-Man. That's a few corners from there. Is it? That goes the way it goes to the right. There's all this yeah, rock on the left. That's what he's Hold talking on. about, though. Yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to find a fucking dude. Oh, something else was coming to mind when he said there's. Look at me. Look at me. I am the captain now. No, I'm not. I don't want any response. I don't know what this he's looks like on the camera. There's he's no, the it's captain probably now. fucking going. I am going. not the captain. Is there no maybe he's the captain this? now. Is he the captain now? He might be the captain now. <laughs> okay, comrade. Maybe you should get back a little. I thought we had to punch each other first. No. Nathan's got. Oh boy! <laughs> it would buy the fire brigade over here! Are you serious? Sure? Let me down, John Orr. Peacock had hit one too many bushes and it was leaking too much air. Our fellow passenger was having some technical difficulties with it. Seeing the current was pushing us toward the cliff, I noticed we were going to have to start kicking pretty soon. Be sure not to get caught up on this side of the river, inside the water, or you could get crushed and scraped by your float. After a few hours of laying out in the river, we are soon approaching the last couple of bends. It's definitely looking just right out. After seeing the state of this float, we are starting to go to the conclusion that it is best not to have such a large float going down the Yakima. Some might be thinking, why stop here? We could just keep on floating the river. You can, except one problem. Within about half a mile, there's a dam that you'd be running into. Maybe try and get a Red Bull sponsor to have some cushioning and a float going down that. I'm kidding. Don't actually take that seriously. Oh, my God. 
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date with the latest episodes I go on, be sure to click subscribe.